It's done. It's dead. It's over. Bury it and walk away. <laughs> okay. Bury it and walk away. The CW that we love, the one that we know, the one that we reminisce about, uh, it's it's going down. Okay. And I talked about this. I've been talking about this for a while now that I don't think the network has any plans to cater to any of the fans that loved the CW before next star acquired it. It doesn't make any sense. It, it just, to me, to me, look, maybe there's some stuff going on behind the scenes, some magic happening over there. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me to buy a network and then get rid of all of the stuff on the network that people loved. All of it. All of it. We'll get into that in a second. But I saw earlier today, I, I don't watch Walker regularly, but I know it's a very well-loved series. It was the second most watched series on the network last year. Very well-loved series. Uh, but I saw on social media that they were breaking down the sets for Walker and everybody was saying, well, maybe, maybe this isn't a bad sign. But I mean, they were breaking the sets down. Okay. So I knew something was happening. I didn't know what it was. Uh, and then shortly after that, we get the announcement that the series has actually been canceled. They're not even getting like a final season to wrap up anything. They are literally getting canceled. One of the most popular shows on the network. I think is all American left. I think that might be the only thing <laughs> at this point, but let's just take a look. We're going to take a look at all of the stuff that has been canceled by next star on the CW uh, since they took over. All right. So here's a list. I don't even know if this is all of them, but let's look at this list. So these are the things that next star has canceled, not shows that were ended that were allowed to be given like a final wrap up or whatever, uh, because next star felt good about it. These are shows that were literally like told you're not coming back. Okay. <laughs> There's not coming back. Uh, Legend of Tomorrow, RIP. Uh, Dynasty, Charmed, Legacies, In the Dark, Roswell, Nancy Drew, Now Walker, Batwoman, RIP, Kung Fu, Stargirl, oh my gosh, Stargirl, 4400, Naomi, Tom Swift, Walker Independence, The Winchesters, Gotham Knights. I don't even know if that's all of them. I don't even know if that's it. But that's a lot. That's just about everything the network had. I know they have other stuff coming out. Look, you don't have to tell me in the comments, but there's more stuff coming. Whose line is it anyway? It's not going to keep the whole network afloat. It's just not. We know they have a bunch of sports stuff coming up. They're doing a bunch of game show shows. They have that stuff happening. But all the stuff we loved, everything that we loved on the CW is going away or gone. We're getting Superman and Lois, but I saw a lot of people on social media being honest about this, they're like, that's it. Never watching the CW again. They have saved me from ever having to come back to this network and watch anything on it ever again because of Walker. But look at all of this stuff that they got rid of. These, there were like, say what you will about the CW. Trust me, I know some people are gonna have opinions about this. Say what you will about the CW. There was some really good stuff in here that was canceled ahead of its time. There's a lot of shows on here that probably should have been given more seasons, at least for loyalty of the fans. Give back to the fans that watched it all this time. You're not going to win anybody over. Like, what do they think? They have like this imaginary market of people that are going to come and tune into the CW that never watched it before. Maybe some of the sports stuff, but we're talking about like loyalty people that will come back to your network because you were making TV shows and things that they loved that they wanted to see. And they're willing to stick around and try out some of the other tasty treats you might be offering, but no, let's just cancel everything and get rid of it. This is crazy to me. So uh, all American is the last surviving show as of right now. It seems like it's a little iffy on what's going on with all American, I just double checked. It seems like the only thing saving all American right now, if this information is correct, is the deal with Netflix, that deal they have where they're making like sharing revenue or whatever. And that's, what's allowing the show to continue. But outside of that, this is it. Like they've canceled everything. There's nothing left on the network that I remember at all. Let's be clear here. After Superman and Lois, I was gone anyway, but a lot of y'all were sticking around for other shows. And those shows are gone now as well. 
I don't know. I have no clue. This seems really wild to me that they, the, 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 the production team, people associated with uh, Walker didn't even know until social media happened. And then I guess the news came out or if they did, they weren't saying anything to anybody. I saw some people online, Canada graph, some other people saying it was a done thing before the announcement happened. They were like, no, nah, this is it. He would know he's, he's dealt with this stuff for a while. Anyway, uh, very quick video today. Just let me know what your thoughts are on this down in the comment section below. I would love to know if you're a fan of Walker, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about the CW doing this with pretty much every show they have? I'm very curious. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.